Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to Hedro Gaming today. Okay, this is going to be another video on Flash characters. Now we talked about what happened with the Reverse Flash, uh, flash. and uh, well, and look how that turn turned out. <laughs> Talking about with the Reverse uh, of that that character is, was fascinating. It, it bro Bro, I broke it down to what could happen if he got his own TV show. And yes, there are a lot of other things I could talk about for that character. But I don't, I'm not going to be talking about, about the reverse from Flash solely on this video. He will be mentioned, but I'm not going to mention him a lot in the, this, <laughs> this video like I did in, in my previous. Today, well... Now we are talking about the thinker. Now, Devo or Clifford, or whatever you want to call him, I'm just going to be using all three names because that's who he is. That's what we who we know him as as far as a flash of villain. So let's get right down to it. Now, with Clifford Devo, the thinker, we know. So much about him, but we barely know him at all. We we only know he he is a, probably a, a fifth or tenth level intellect. But because of the par particle accelerator from from the Flash series of episode one, season one, we know he he got his powers there from there. He was fine up until right around, like, I'm going to say the timeline, uh, because, like, like he, was, he was there for all, all of it, seeing everything unfold unfold for the Flash family, the team, team Flash, whatever you want to call them. He was there the whole time. We just don't know what he was implanting the whole through the gaps of the, the years that went on. Now, he, he planned everything from, from making more metahumans, but in a total, totally different way. Basically, all I, I remember of him is, is that he was a psychotic sociopath. Like, he, he was very clever. <laughs> I will... To be more blunt later on, because like this guy's insane. But giving giving him the name the Thinker was actually very interesting, and I like this portrayal of him in the whole series. Because like when I watched the Suicide Squad movie, I thought he was really weaker and he was less smart. He was like a a level one intellect when uh, I saw the, the the Suicide Squad movie, right? With the DC Universe of the t TV show, he was actually a lot smarter than normal. So, <laughs> let's just break this down. Now, I forget his wife's name in this uh, series, but what I remember Remember is that they were a duo of our brainiacs. Like the, he he was the the brains and the the organizer of everything. She was the I guess the muscle. She she knew everything else and knew how to execute them. But here, here's the thing that I I didn't understand about the Flash series, about the th thinker like. They already learned about about a name Devo from like I don't know season three and at the very end of season three when they beat it's a Salvatar, right? But um, <coughs> okay, here, here here it is. I think I think with the Eobard song the re the reverse Flash. He created all the metahumans. He basically created Devo. So, in hindsight, he put the the world, the timeline, 
in jeopardy because of that idea. Now, I, I don't really understand why Thon would put, him, put the thinker there, but hey, whatever. What I actually think about him is that, well, he outsmarted everyone. He actually outsmarted Ralph Dimney. And the the elongated man, <laughs> like oh my god, and he he wasn't smart at all. Like the the elongated man, Ralph Dimney. Come on, I, I didn't care, but but I can character at all until like I guess season five. Like holy crap! And then he got a little smarter, but point is, the thinker. Is completely insane. I think if he he stayed alive in in the Flash and TV show, and if he was introduced into a later series of the show, and and if he were to go up against Brainiac, uh, it would be a really good good uh, battle of intellect. But now, because of his other persona, as well as a professor of sorts of history, I think it was, in the Flash TV show, we already knew from then and there he was already smart. And uh, he even made Barry Allen, the Flash, go mad. Like... <laughs> Creating a samurai robot android to fight the Flash and, like, to outsmart everything, to think of every little detail on how they, they would be the battle of the outcome or whatever. It was hysterical. Like, do not get me wrong. I'm not criticizing the, the character or the show at all for that. I loved it. Every 180 Three episodes of the last nine seasons have been amazing. And did not get, get me wrong. I didn't really care for when uh, Cl Clifford the Devo, the thinker, w when he was a, a professor. I knew he was wearing a mask. Like, come on. We already see what he's like. And when he took out all the metahumans from from the from the bus or whatever, when when Flash came out of the Speed Force, that was amazing. And yes, okay, he he killed about I don't know nine or ten metahumans in the process, stealing their powers, stealing their bodies, and like just to keep himself alive like that was interesting that was really fascinating i loved that part of devo like he he took um he took us so much into planning and i find he was the most cunning villain ever since i guess a zoom like oh my gosh well, like, Zoom was cunning, but he, he was ruthless, though. That's all I'm saying. Maybe when I do another v video, I'll talk about Zoom or Savitar. I don't, I don't know. But there is one other video that I want to do at some point, because I saw a post about, about this a couple of weeks ago. Like, if the, the Injustice Society of America, from, from the... D DC TV series of all the villains. What if they had their own TV series? I might have to do a video on that. T taking apart all the best villains and putting them into one show would be spectacular. Now, as I said, Ralph Dimney. He in law get him in in that onesie suit. Like that, that's his first uh, kind of costume, okay? That that's his first. He's with the K Caitlin Snow there. Like, oh my god. That is hilarious. And that's back when he was just 
a Aaron boy or whatever for for Team Flash. <laughs> it was hilarious seeing him stumble upon upon uh, onto his powers and like a stumbling around, around and making mischief and like screwing up so much. And good God, he could talk! Like, oh my God, he's one of those characters that you would want to punch in the face until he was out cold. That is how annoying Ralph Dimney was. But that's the old Dimney, the one that that we were reintroduced to in like season five, six, and seven. He was actually more amusing. He was more in. Intelligent because, like, yeah, he was still kind of quirky and whatever and funny and stupid, but like, he was good, he was a good character after a while. And now, to think, like, okay, he, he, I forget this guy's name, but he is a tenant telepath, and I remember he was the last person of DeVoe that, that he was uh, targeting all the meta humans and whatever. And Cisco Ramon vibe there. That was uh, such a good, good way to to put his powers to use to fight Devo and whatever, any kind of villain. It was amazing. But now to think about this, like uh, Clifford Devo, the Thinker, and as many of the members of Team Flash, like. Basically, basically, the Flash and Kid Flash vibe. Elongated Man, can, okay, Caitlin Snow, which is Killer Frost. Think of all the other heroes that are through the t- TV series. And the Thinker beat them all without trying. That is how powerful DeVoe is. That is how powerful DeVoe's mind is. Now, I, I would actually like to see a, a movie based on Clifford DeVoe and to see the actor that, that played DeVoe come back one last t- time. Like, it was amazing. Now, here's K- Caitlin Snow, Killer Frost, in the middle there. She, she looks amazing. And with... I think that's H.R. Wells or Harry Wells in, in the back there between uh, Vibe, uh, Killer Frost, and Joe West there. The guy, the guy with the crossed arms, Harry Wells. He is amazing. <laughs> and look at the suit. I love that suit with the Flash. But basically... All I'm saying is, for all of the, the intents and purposes of this video, I personally think for any of the villains, like I could do a vi- video at some, at some point ranking all the villains, but Devo might have been one of the weakest. Well, yeah, he did a lot. He did a very very good amount of of destruction and mischief and whatever. But wow, he is a bit of a weakling. If you t- take away his uh, his uh, chair and whatever, like if you t- take the chair away and take away his intellect, good God, he's just a man. So, there you have it. I really hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed this in a video. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and give lots of love to the channel. And let me know which one of the, the villains you want me to do next between Salvatar or Zoom. Let's just say Zoom or Salvatar or Cicada from Season 5. Any of those villains are really good because I, I I've enjoyed all the all the uh, seasons and everything. And if you want me to, I can do a whole whole video devoted to what it would be like 
of all the villains from from the uh, from the DC t TV series, if they all got together to make the the in Injustice Society of America for a spin-off TV show. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.